I'm gonna show you how I made this small but very detailed Christmas light with RGB, interchangeable scenes, an animation, brightness settings and simple one button control. Let's get started. So I was walking through the store and as we passed by the Christmas section, I saw this. And although it wasn't on, I immediately knew what the effect was. Now this is quite a cool idea, but I've never seen this type of battery before. The details on the deer are a bit underwhelming to say the least. And it doesn't have RGB. So let's do something about that. The only thing I'll keep from this is the glass dome. So let's cut that off. As you can see, I successfully removed the dome. So now let's start working on the body. To print this, I'll be using some 20 to 30% wood infused PLA. This is the first time I'm using wood PLA, so I'm not the best person to be telling you which film and to buy. But I was very happy with it. And apart from some stringing and one clock in my 0.4mm nozzle, it printed fine. And certainly smells, feels and sands like wood. Here it is. I'm not going to go over the modeling or printing process now, but if you're interested, you can check out this video I made about just that. As you can see, I already removed the supports, but didn't bother sanding the inside. Oh, and all the models will be on Thingiverse. Link in the description. I also sanded the outside with some sandpaper to get rid of the layer lines and use a file to sand the holes. Now everything fits perfectly in the box. Then just for style, I went around the edges with a precision knife just to get that more handcrafted wooden look. Now gather all the components and unsolder the pins from the Arduino. Now that you've got all the components, you can solder them together as shown and upload this sketch, which as always can be found in the description. To test it, plug it into a 7 to 12 volt power supply and turn it on. Now we can scroll through the colors and animation by clicking the button. You can also change the brightness by holding the button longer, then scrolling through the four presets by clicking and confirming by once again holding the button. We can start assembling it by putting the LED in place and gluing it secure. Then the power jack, button and Arduino. I also made sure to check regularly if everything was still working. I just switched to another color glue, so it's not pretty, but it's still very strong. I 
I also printed the lid, but before we glue it together, I'm going to write some instructions. Alright, so now that the user knows how to power it, we can glue the button in place and glue the lid to the base. As you can see, it still works perfectly and looks really professional in my opinion. I also modeled 9 unique pieces for 3 different scenes. Christmas, Halloween and the woods. I made 3 because of my upload schedule but of course you can make as many as you want. In this shot I also sorted all of them by set and by type. Now let's test it out. I honestly really like the end result. For a small Christmas light it's stuffed with features. And on top of that it looks great. My favorite scene would have to be the Halloween scene. Even though this is a Christmas special I think that one turned out best. As always if you liked the video like and consider subscribing I'd really appreciate it.